Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, I'm, I'm getting a hint of vanilla Ooh, with a strawberry finish. Very nice. It's better than when she smoked those cigarettes. I know, I had a constant cough. Stinky bonfire cigarette smell in my cage. And smoke it choked my lungs. <coughs> she was trying to kill us. Kill us! Well, she's changed to using an e-cigarette now, so we don't have to worry about the risk of passive smoking. Well, papers say that e-cigarette vapour is harmful too. Oh no, there really is no evidence that passive inhalation of e-cigarette vapour is harmful. The vapour mostly consists of water. What about the chemicals? The chemicals! E-liquid contains nicotine and flavourings, but virtually all of it is vegetable glycerin and glycol. These make the clouds of vapour, but they're commonly used as food additives. They're even used in toothpaste. Bah! For a whole year, researchers exposed animals to glycol at doses up to 700 times the level they would absorb through inhalation from e-cigarettes. And apart from a bit of throat irritation, there was no harm. But papers say... Glycol turn into dangerous chemical when heated. Well, that refers to a study showing heated glycol breaks down into formaldehyde. But there's some serious doubts about this, as it's thought this only happens when the glycol's heated to temperatures much higher than those reached when vaping. Nobody would want to vape the foul stuff produced at those temperatures. Well, well, it's a nicotine is poisonous to mouses. Poisonous to mouses! Well, nicotine is poisonous, but only at doses much, much higher than those found in cigarettes. It's the tar and carbon monoxide in cigarette smoke that's the danger. Those aren't present in e-cig vapour. Bah! In humans, they found that partners of vapours had nicotine present at about a thousand times less than partners of smokers. That's about the levels of nicotine you'd get by eating a tomato. Bah! Tomato! Nicotine, it stick to my cage, it's dangerous! It's been calculated that an infant would need to lick over 30 square metres of the walls in a smoker's house to obtain just one milligram of nicotine. What about the flavours? Tell me that you mangy rodent who eat your own mouse's droppings. Who knows what in flavours, eh? 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 Okay, no need to get your feathers in a flap. There was a concern in the past as lots of different flavourings were used in e-liquid and the risk was unknown. See, see, Mr. Smarty Mouse Pants? <laughs> you don't know risk from flavours. Which is why they introduced new rules in 2016. So now the flavourings used in e-liquid are regulated and monitored. <sighs> Most of the chemicals causing smoking-related disease are absent in e-cigarette vapour. Vaping's thought to be at least 95% less harmful than smoking. And, Miss Parrot, there really is no evidence that passive inhalation of e-cigarette vapour is harmful. I no speak to you no more! Tch, parrots. <laughs> <laughs>